today to be married. Wonderful. Give her a kiss on the cheek. And give Mark to shake his hand. Cause I live for a little moment like that. Let's start by taking a nice deep breath. Aloha everybody and welcome Grace and Mark. Today we meet here at the sea as the two of you become one. You know, here where the earth meets this constant and unlimited force and as these waters, may the love that you share be flowing and limitless and ever-changing. And may your love forever redefine itself and may it hold for you the very essence of your lives together. And in pledging your lives and your love to one another, you know, you acknowledge the change in your very existence and you celebrate your commitment to a very aware and strong relationship. And may your love touch and nourish and transform all those with whom you come in contact. You know, just as these waters, they touch and they nourish and they transform the many shores of our planet. So in Hawaii, we exchange lei as a symbol of our love for each other. And they have very specific significance at weddings because the flowers and these leaves, you know, they represent the love that you bring to your marriage and the twine that holds them all together. This represents your marriage bond and in essence is symbolic of your lives together. And as you place them over each other, you'll give a hug and a kiss. Okay. <laughs> Let us pray. We give thanks for the coming together of Grace and Mark and for the many blessings that you enjoy. And we pray especially for your happiness 
And we know as we reach out to another being, as we pledge ourselves to give and to share, that we allow ourselves to accept more of the gifts of life, and we invoke the spirit of our heavenly creator to join us as we commence the ceremony, this bonding of Mark and Grace. And we focus our thoughts now on all those family members and friends that couldn't be with us here today, but are here in spirit. Amen. Amen. So we gather here today to dedicate the joy and the deep meaning of the union of Mark and Grace in this very sacred commitment and really the essence of this covenant, you know, is the acceptance of one another as lover and companion and best friend. And it's a decision which is not in, entered into lightly, but rather one undertaken with great consideration and also respect, but really not only for each other, you know, also for ourselves. And the ceremony today, it sets the tone for your entire life together because this is a visible symbol of the ongoing wedding process in which the two of you, you continue to grow in love and union. So now I want you to face each other holding hands. And I ask you, Mark, do you take grace to be your wife? And do you promise to love her and comfort her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Grace, will you have Mark to be your husband? And do you promise to love him and comfort him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. Great. We're going to have Tim sing another song for us. Marry me today and every day. If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will, Whoa. or say you will, yeah, yeah. So marry me. Have their rings, please. Thank you. So your rings, by their very shape, are the emblems of eternal unity without beginning or end, and they characterize your devotion to one another. And I ask they always remind you of the very sacred commitments you make to each other today. So, placing the ring on the edge of Grace's finger and looking into her eyes, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I promise to grow with you. I promise to grow with you. To build our love, to build our love. To speak openly and honestly. To speak openly and honestly. To listen to you. To listen to you. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you for all our days together for all our days together from this day forward from this day forward you shall not walk alone you shall not walk alone my heart will be your shelter my heart will be your shelter my arms will be your home my arms will be your home with this ring with this ring i the wed i the wed <laughs> With this ring, with this ring, I promise to grow with you. I promise to grow with you. To build our love, to build our love. To speak openly and honestly, to speak openly and honestly. To listen to you, to listen to you. To love and to cherish you, to love and to cherish you. For all our days together, for all our days together. From this day forward, from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone.
My heart will be your shelter. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. My arms will be your home. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. We'll take her flowers. There you go. So I'd like to end the celebration with this closing reading. And this is taken from an Apache Indian wedding benediction. And it goes like this. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there is no loneliness for you. Now you are two persons, but only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may those days together be good and long and happy. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Hawaii, it's my privilege and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal this with a kiss. I love you too. Yeah.
saw you in my dream. We were walking hand in hand on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. We were playing in the sun. We were having so much fun on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. The sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. Sound of the ocean rocks me all night long. Those hot, long summer days, lying there in the sun on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. Sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. The sound of the ocean rocks me all night long.